Today marks one week since 22 people were shot and killed while shopping at Walmart. Just hours from now will mark one week since nine more were shot and killed in a restaurant and bar district in Dayton, Ohio. Now, these two back-to-back -back mass shootings, first in El Paso, Texas, and then in Dayton, have left the country shaken, but also determined to create change. We've heard chants of do something. We've seen some Republicans change their stance on gun control, and even Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who spent the past year or so blocking legislation, has said the Senate will consider new gun control legislation. He is refusing, however, to bring Congress back into session early. Today, more than a dozen presidential candidates are in Iowa speaking at a gun control forum. And CNN's Arlette Sines joins us live in Des Moines. Arlette, what have been some of the breakout moments you've seen there? Well, Anna, over the course of this day, you've heard from 16 of the Democratic presidential candidates here in person at this gun uh, reform uh, forum. And really, they've been laying out their vision for how to solve uh, this issue relating to gun violence in this country. And Senator Kamala Harris was one of those uh, lawmakers who just recently spoke. And listen to this new line uh, that she had talking about President Trump and that shoot those shootings uh, that occurred just about a week ago. People say to me, did Donald Trump cause those, those folks to be killed? Well, no, of course, he didn't pull the trigger, but he's certainly been tweeting out the ammunition. That's a, a similar uh, message that's been uh, relayed by other uh, Democratic presidential candidates, candidates who have said that uh, the president's words have kind of uh, sparked some of this uh, animus uh, across the country. And then there was also a very emotional moment uh, just a short while ago with Andrew Yang when he was asked, uh, a woman asked a question and noted that her young child uh, was killed by a stray bullet. Take a look at that moment that happened just a short while ago. I have a six and three year old boy that's imagining. I was imagining it was one of them that got shot and the other saw it. <laughs> that scene that she described, I'm sorry, it's like very, very affecting. You're right that when there's a gun in the household, you're more likely to have a child get shot or the owner get shot than to kill, let's say, an intruder into the house. Those are just numbers. Um, those are just the facts. So there were clearly some very emotional moments uh, here at this forum as these Democratic presidential candidates are trying to relay how they would try to solve and stem this uh, crisis of gun violence in the country. Anna? Yeah, it, it affects all of us. I think a lot of parents are feeling the way Andrew Yang expressed himself. Arlette Sines, thank you for covering this for us.